Hello! Today I'll be going through my Notion setup and how I use it in my daily life. Currently I use Notion mainly for university to plan out my week as a daily to-do list but also as a planner for YouTube, a journal and a place for me to review books. So let's get started and go on a tour of my Notion and along the way I'll comment on certain aspects I really like or find useful. By the way, this video is obviously not sponsored. So here's my main page. My Notion template was originally more as that she shared in this video here which I'll link below. But over time, I've customized it and made it my own, which is one of the reasons why I really like Notion. It's super customizable and you can make it basic or really fancy. I've made mine quite simple with most things visible on the front page because I tend to function better with less visually stimulating designs over complex ones. On the first page, the first thing you see is a bunch of lazy quokers and a little reminder to thrive in 2022. Then three columns where the important stuff is. Starting from the left, I have a to-do list where I brain dump everything I need to do and I prefer to do this online because it's faster to type plus I can go back and add or change stuff whenever I want easily. After putting everything down here, I make a physical to-do list detailing which tasks I'll be doing for the next few hours. For example, study for my assessment, 25 minutes for that, fill out first part of assessment, 50 minutes, and maybe write a script for YouTube, 25 minutes. Throughout the day, I check back in with the list to see what I can cross out or remove, and to plan what I'll do next. In the middle, I have three sections, uni, other, and rotations. Under uni, I have links to three uni-related pages. Under other, I have links to uni websites, and under rotations, I have links to pages dedicated to specific upcoming or past runs I've been on. On the right, I have a cute picture of Coca, a quote that's a remnant of Moya's Notion template, and below, two links to a YouTube planning page and a review page. Below the three columns, I have a small section for weekly priorities, but honestly, I don't use it too much. If I do use it, it's usually for more personal reminders like YouTube planning. At the bottom, I have a weekly planner, which I use a lot. On Sundays, before the new week begins, I plan out the week and add in teaching sessions, hang out with friends, and throughout the week, I'll add in new things or take things off. At the end of the week, when I'm writing reflections, I refer back to this to remind myself of what I did. Okay, so moving away from the main page, let's dive into the specific pages, starting with clinical scenarios slash diseases, which I'll quickly flip through so I don't bore you all. As it says, once a day ideally, I try to briefly revise a disease or clinical scenario. Emphasis on try. I organize it by topic, and as you can see, I haven't done it nearly as much as I'd like to, and I often go over the 15 minute limit I've set. But I like this page and I'm planning to make it a habit. Next up, Reflections. Another remnant for Moya's template which I recently began to use. At the end of each week, I like to write up what happened with the help of my weekly planner, plus write down what gave energy and what drained my energy throughout the week. I mainly focus on uni and med school related stuff, but I do sprinkle in some personal thoughts and then I finish by setting some intentions for the next week and adding in some pictures. This has honestly been really fun, especially because I can play around with the template, move things around and add different pictures easily. Next, monthly review. This is going to be really brief because I haven't really touched it much. Next up, all my rotation pages. Now these are all a good idea theoretically, but honestly I haven't used them much apart from the initial setup. So I might just convert them all into a single page where I detail all the assessments, resources and what I'm expected to do. Next, another less utilized page, my YouTube planning page. Now, this page I haven't used much recently due to a lack of time and focus on YouTube. To be honest, I've been super busy at the hospital and haven't had much spare time, so YouTube has been put on the back burner for a while now. But I'm hoping to get back into it and make better content now that I've settled into my latest rotation. But yeah, I mainly use the timeline to plan upcoming videos with ideal upload dates and whether my sister or I need to make it. I sometimes write video plans briefly, but I also use good notes and notes sporadically to plan my videos, and it really just depends on my mood. Not the best system, I admit, and so I might just move everything in Notion, because it's much simpler to have everything in one place. Lastly, we have probably my most used page overall. This is basically where I record all the media I've consumed, mostly books, plus some TV shows and movies. After I've read a book, I'll read it out of five, write the author's name, the date I finished it, and write a review, which can either be quite short or very long. I didn't think I'd keep this up, but I've managed to write a review on everything here so far. 
Some of the reviews aren't really reviews to be honest though. And what are my thoughts after reading a book or how I can use that book and its ideas in my life? This is another feature of Notion that I really love. I like how everything is all in one place and I can see an overview of what I've consumed, but also dive further in and see my specific thoughts related to each one. It's all neat and organized on the outside, but quite chaotic within. I think I've done this consistently because it's so simple and easy to use, and I'm so glad I've kept it up because I can remember much more of the books that I've read before. And with that comes the end of my Notion tour. Although mine isn't super aesthetic, it's very functional and basic enough that I've been using it really well. I hope you've liked my setup and become inspired to make one yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.